We'll talk to Brandon Lang coming up in a second on the uh, on the games uh, going uh, beginning, of course, uh, tonight. By the way, I stand corrected. The uh, Oakland Raiders do not have the best record in in the NFL. They do in the AFC. Uh, they have two losses. It's, of course, the Dallas. Uh, Davey, are you a Dallas Cowboys fan? What are you? Is he in there? I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. That's right, you are. Uh, what do you think on Sunday? Uh, I have no hope. Um, I had no hope against them against Jacksonville, but they ended up pulling it out. All right, you're right. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, the Patriots at nine and two also. Uh, so that is that. Uh, we'll get to Brandon Lang coming up in uh, in just a second. Um, uh, also, uh, this hour, I have to tell you, we want to talk about the T-shirts that are available. The Teddy Bear Toss, New York Sands Teddy Bear Toss, is coming up, and you know how this works. You go to the game, and when you see the Pioneers who are red hot although coming off their uh, first loss, uh, red hot. Um, when they score their first goal, uh, that's your cue to uh, throw uh, whatever teddy bears you brought to the game. And don't just bring one or two. Um, it's a week from, I think, I believe it's a week from this Saturday or two weeks from this Saturday. Two weeks from this coming Saturday is the teddy bear toss. Uh, but you would throw your teddy bear out onto the ice. And, of course, all of it goes to benefit Operation Sunshine, the Keeler Toy Drive, and the Marine Corps League's Toys for Tots. So this is big, and, uh, and, and we have T-shirts that are available. Go to our website at wybx950.com, and uh, there's an opportunity for you right there to purchase a T-shirt. And it's a Teddy Bear Toss T-shirt with New York Sash and WYBX. And all of the proceeds, all of the profits will go to our Toys for Tots campaign. So take advantage of, uh, of that. Again, at our website at WIBX950.com and your chance uh, to get in there and, uh, and, and get a, a limited edition t-shirt uh, if you'd like to take advantage of it. Uh, okay, uh, there's a news story out right now, uh, and this is a big one. I'm not sure how much of a discussion I want to get into this thing, but um, uh, there are constantly in Texas, and you lived in, in, in Texas, uh, Stephanie. Yes. And uh, so abortion is a big topic there. Yes. And there's constantly uh, legislation that is being passed, and then it's being questioned federally uh, about uh, fi- making it more difficult for people to, uh, for women to mm-hmm. have, have an abortion. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a law right now that is about to go into, uh, into the bill that's about to go into law that would require burial or cremation for aborted fetuses. Um, so, and you think about that, and mm-hmm. I guess you could take a religious stance on that. Right. Uh, however, um, it's really adding a bit of a, um, it's adding an expense and a bit of an obstacle, which is what they, I guess, really are trying to do. The new rules initially proposed by the governor there mm-hmm. uh, will require all healthcare facilities in the state to bury or incinerate the fetuses immediately after an abortion has taken place. Incinerated remains must then be scattered or buried. Uh, previously, health care facilities could dispose of fetuses in sanitary landfills, as is the common practice for disposal of medical waste across the country. Hard to even think about what uh, the, after, the aftermath, uh, what happens. But uh, mm-hmm. there, in, uh, there in Texas, that's about to go into law. Since abortion clinics have been open and operating in the United States, there have been protocols in place for how to deal with the products of conception or the fetus. According to Elizabeth Nash, Senior State Issues Manager with the Guttmacher Institute, a policy and research organization that focuses on reproductive rights. Typically, that has been required is that the products of conception be treated as any other tissue from the body. Now, however, uh, hospitals will be forced to, uh, there'll be a, I don't want to say ceremony, but it, mm-hmm. it, it'll be cremation or burial. Um, interesting story, but watching that to see there will be a reaction, as you probably would expect uh, from that. 7.15, Brandon Lang standing by on the line right now. Of course, go to brandonlang.com before you make any move. Brandon, before we get to football, I, I want to ask you, um, is there any excitement for you uh, seeing that Tiger Woods is back? No. Not at all? None. None whatsoever. I, 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 I can't. I can't find any joy in watching uh, watching golf without Tiger Woods in right now. People, people, because I know a lot about Tiger Woods, the person. Hey, I, I, well, listen, you, it, we know stories, but if you watch golf and you watch Tiger Woods, he's not he's he's not a nice person on the golf course, and and you know, 
I mean, a lot of it's caught on camera. A lot of the stuff you see. Well, you know, just the, the I'm a huge guy about gratuity. Mm. There's no place in life for people not to tip for people in the service industry. And for him to notoriously be one of the cheapest human beings on the face of the planet mm. to have thrown himself on the mercy of Navy SEALs in San Diego and trained with them for three days. And, you know, it was a general that, that okayed it for him to go do it. So they have to accommodate him, even if they didn't want to. Yeah, yeah. And he shoots their bullets, he trains with them, he takes up all their time. And then to go to lunch with six guys and the bill comes, and for him not to pick up that tab... What? And for there to be an uncomfortable silence for 30 seconds while they're all staring around, and then the waitress comes over and says, are we ready? And the, 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 the lead corporal or whatever has to say, yeah, well, just get a separate checks. Wow. That's embarrassing. Wow. That's embarrassing to the human race for a man of his stature. I'm not saying he has to do it all the time. But that speaks to but the you're, character you're dealing, of the individual. Yeah, you're dealing with uh, with our military at this point. Yep. I mean, a little thank you might be, you know, because if it you know, obviously you get to play golf because the people that fight for this country. And I listen. I, I can see you having one affair on your wife. I can see you having two affairs on your wife. But to have multiple affairs into the twenties and thirties. Yeah. on your wife. I can't root for a guy with such questionable character. And I, I, there's no place. Oh, you're just he's, ruining it for me now. I was all, <laughs> all excited and today me, to watch let, the Golf Channel. Let me go one step further. Yeah, He's a has-been. And what I mean by that is people want to celebrate Tiger for his 70-something victory in 14 majors. I get it. But you have to understand it was a watered-down tour. The competition on the tour back then is nowhere near the competition that is on the tour now. You have guys you've never heard of winning yeah. on the weekend. And so you know, the, the influx of European players on our tour now, as opposed to when Tiger was on his run, I give him credit for the run. I give him credit for being as good as he was. But the man and the character of the man, and to root for a guy that thinks he's God and gives off a God complex. He once went into a steakhouse in Ohio he was banned from. I think he now he's no longer banned because he made it right. But he literally walked out on a check, and when the manager came to him and said, Tiger, you've got to pay your check. He says, listen, I'm Tiger Woods. You're lucky I even came into your restaurant and walked out. Out. Wow. Oh, geez. Wow. And someone else in his party then had to go back and go, oh, all right, we'll pay the tab. And didn't tip or do anything for any. He yeah, once yeah. won $2.4 million in a one hour time frame in the VIP pit at Mandela Bay. This comes from a friend of mine who was there. Yeah. And mo if I sit down at a blackjack table and, and I'm not a baller. I'll pay a hundred dollars a hand in blackjack for or five if I'm on a roll five hundred. But if I any if I have a big hand and I win that hand for five hundred or six hundred dollars, I'll throw the dealer a hundred dollar chip. I'll throw her a fifty dollar tip. Right, right. I get a blackjack on a five hundred dollar hand. I'll let her keep the the one and a half yeah, return. Yeah, yeah. He was two point three two point three million dollars in an hour. Got up from the table and looked at the dealer. And threw him each a hundred dollar chip and said, "That's for you and the other girl. Thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll be back." Wow. On a two point wow. three million dollar win, he threw him each a hundred dollar chip. But I hit a nerve. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hit a nerve. Uh, no. I, uh, I, and I, so you're and saying I've you don't heard, like him? <laughs> listen, I've heard stories like this uh, on him. I, I have, and uh, I just think having him back. Whether you like him or you don't is good. Uh, it's certainly TV Listen, executives want him back because it's ratings. Period. Yes, but to have yeah. him back to fail. Yeah. Well, he's not going to yeah. win a major. He's yeah. not going to. You know, listen. Last time we saw him, he was duffing chip shots. Yeah. Yeah. So I uh, listen. Uh, yeah. Will I watch him? Yeah, I'll watch him chop. <laughs> I caddy a lot. He's, you know, he'll hit some good shots, but. Bubba Watson will still hit it 50 yards by him. Yeah. Jordan Spieth will out-putt him. I mean, he's trying to remain relevant, 
in a place where he's irrelevant. Yeah. And, how does Jordan you know, Spieth? How does Jordan Spieth compare uh, to Tiger at his at his peak, though? Um, Jordan's got a ways to go. Remember, Jordan. Jordan's a one hit wonder right now. Yeah. One yeah. one big year. Yeah. And, and he had the he had the you know he won at the Mercedes coming out of the box last year and did and, and won in I think Texas and had that a nice event in Texas. But overall, yeah, no yeah. majors and didn't and didn't sniff the lead in a major. So, but he tips um, well. Let me tell you, he can tip. <laughs> yep, he Jordan tips. tips. Listen, Jordan Jordan Spieth tips and he tips big. And but see, this is the difference. Jordan Spieth's sister is a special needs child, mm. and that shapes the character of himself. Tiger Woods' dad, when he met Tiger Woods' mom, both were still married and left their respective spouses. So think about that for a minute before you before you put another little edge. Wow, in your he's belt. going to the next level thing, with this I one. Think, is that, I think that one's or, a little unfair, but all right, I'll, or, I'll stick or, with or you. No, the, I'm just saying that the fruit all doesn't right. far fall from the tree. All right, uh, if you think about it. So anyway, got it. Let's go to uh, let's go to football. Uh, week number thirteen and uh, Dallas, uh, as I was corrected earlier in the hour, with the best record in the in the NFL is at Minnesota tonight. What do you think? Not only the best record in the NFL. The best record against the spread in the NFL, mm, nine okay. one and one yeah. against the spread this year for the entire year, five and zero oh on the road, straight up versus the spread. Zimmer went in late last night. The line is three. I'll buy it down to two and a half. I'll lose with the Dallas before I lose with Minnesota. Uh, which uh, which Buffalo is going to show up in Oakland and again red hot? Do uh, the Bills have a chance? That's a you know, late they, a late game on Sunday, by the way. It's four oh five, not late, mm-hmm. but the four oh five game. You know, um, Oakland had a chance to cover the three and a half against Carolina. Had first and goal inside four minutes, and, and settled for a field goal, laying three and a half. Didn't cover. Bill six and three against the spread on the road this year. Four and one as an underdog. And listen, you go to Seattle and play the way they did. I'll, I'll take Buffalo plus the points. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Jets Monday night hosting uh, Indianapolis. Boy, Andrew Luck should be back. Um, Indy four one and one last six prior to the Luck injury. Jets off the heartbreaking loss to New England. Uh, I think Andrew Luck in Indianapolis is your play there. And then uh, I think I missed the Giants game. Uh, who are the Giants? Uh, They're at Pittsburgh. That's right. Talk about um, that earlier. Eli's on a roll. Won last six straight up this year. Five one and one his last seven. You know I've come on your show for a long time, and what do I say? Uh, what do you uh, like? It's a it's Eli, a quiz. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't prepared. I didn't do my homework. Eli chokes. No, I say you take Eli as an underdog. You go against him as a favorite. He is an underdog on Sunday. You got to take him. He still chokes a lot. I will not. uh, (laughs) The Manaski is the one always paying paying attention to that. Uh, All right, Brandon. Listen, before anybody uh, you know gets involved in any extracurricular activity, um, I got to tell you. Last week you talked about. Maybe under Trump, the legalization of uh, uh, of gambling, and you know, technically it's legal in the United States. It is illegal in New York. I don't ever see it being legalized. But uh, isn't it just the most ridiculous um, thing where the feds are taking? So if you're a bookie, the feds are taking your tax dollars. This is in New York. If you're a bookie, the, you're paying taxes on the money you make as a bookie. And then every once in a while, the state will come in and whack you and take take money and property. It's the craziest yep. thing in the world. Yep. And I listen. I know a couple of really big time bookmakers in New York, one of the largest, and um, he's very good at what he does. And he he think it's hilarious that six billion we're leaving off the table. Yeah. Two thousand and sixteen people. We're in two thousand sixteen in the evolution of this world. We can't legalize gambling where Nevada's been doing it for 50 years. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, we just got to UFC here. Uh, just legalized uh, UFC in New York State. So, All right, Brandon, interesting. Go to brandonlang.com before you do anything out there in the gambling world. Uh, Brandon, biggest, college, biggest college game of the year on Saturday, 200 dimer, first 200 dimer in three years. And that game is, what, what game is that? Don't know yet. Okay. Between oh. two games. It's either... Oh. Uh, it's either Navy and uh, it's the Navy Temple game mm-hmm. um, that I love more than life itself. It's uh, Virginia Tech Clemson I love more than life itself. So I'm waiting for God to speak to me tonight. Okay, God will speak to you. <laughs> He's big on the gambling, uh, God. Uh, all right, <laughs> all right Brandon. BrandonLane.com. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Got you, brother.